Are we doing it? Are we here? I, I cannot believe it. I can't believe I went through all that trouble. I was like, all right, guys, I'm going to take the stream down. We're going to make everything perfect. And then immediately it just breaks. So that's that's fantastic. That's great. Hopefully that is the last time that happens today. Um, always Hopefully. really, really good for the uh, stream quality to just completely cut out uh, right off the bat. But it looks like we had a solid start from both players here. Uh, I'm guessing two perfect Lakitu skips and two bomb clips. I would hope. Uh. Okay. Oh. Nixon's a little sticky. They're both going for Owlless second star. Kind of an odd route. You see, you see mostly cannonless as your first star in Wops. I'm, I'm a big fan of Owlless first. I think it flows better. I know Liam does Owlless first. You completely have a so, Mario meltdown and you lose all your health on Owlless somehow, you could just back up cannonless. <laughs> that's my, true. That's my mentality. <laughs> that's... That's true. Uh, Momo having a 60-19 and no LBLJ. I don't think he has an LBLJ PB, so of course, going for the no LBLJ route. Let Clay also do that. A 60-19 and no LBLJ is a very good time, especially for that category. Wait, is Momo's time really on no LBLJ? Yeah. It's a no LBLJ run. Pretty cracked. Now, I don't know if I'm lagging or if it's you lagging. Oh man, let's just assume it's me <laughs> lagging. Let's just assume. Because... The, let's just assume the stream is not working at all times. I think that's a safe bet. Well, both runners within 10 seconds of each other. Very close. I think they're both going for the, the big guy. King Womp. Both not going, like, seemingly not going for Fence Clip at all. Just in a long jump. It's interesting. Fence Clip is hard, dude. Like, and it's honestly, like, even once you get it down, it's like there's always that one time out of, like, 10 or whatever that you just completely melt down and you, like, bonk on the fence and you slide all the way down the slope. Like, do you really want to mess with that in a race? I don't want to mess with that in a race. I completely respect skipping the Fence yeah, Clip. It's, it's not a big time It's save. completely fair. Ending on that tower star for Momo. We'll see if Let's Play can deliver. Play also getting the triple jump. Very good. They make it look easy, but it's not as easy as it seems. Getting the triple jump right on that very lip of that moving platform. Heading into CCM here, it'll be interesting to see whether these players go for the backflip wall kicks movement. Definitely could be a little bit more risky. Maybe grabbing a little penguin moss going first. For penguin first. Oh, they're both going for penguins first. This is like a German tradition, I know. <laughs> that's what <laughs> do whatever does like penguin last. Maybe it's they just like doing it in weird places. That that is one of the, the big three. You got you know sausages, you got your bratwurst, you got a. Uh, Beer, and then you got Little Penguin Lost first. I think those are like the uh, tried and true <laughs> German traditions. Yeah. Every German has to do it. Let's see that backflip. Oh, okay. Very nice. Momo is a pro. It Let's Clay, of course. Like Let's Clay is going for it. Loves to risk it all with this uh, rollout movement. A little bit terrifying for some. A crazy triple jump. I've never seen that triple jump like flip the fence like that. That's a very interesting movement. Like every runner has their own like kind of homemade movement that they, you know, doesn't lose any time, so why not? You know, if it ain't broke, it don't fix it. 
I don't know. I mean, I have plenty of homegrown movement that definitely loses time, but that's just me. As we enter yeah. the dark world here, a little bit of a scary situation for both runners, but maybe we'll see two shig cycles. Who knows? No deaths, two shig. Nice move from Momo. Let's see if they can keep up. Green share kind of lagged out, but I assume that <laughs> it went well. Well, unless you hear Mario screaming, it's probably fine. However, we can't, of course, hear Let's Clay. Uh, that is but... an interesting camera from Let's Clay. I don't. I do pa poverty shit. That camera would terrify me. It's a very important skill to have here at Cool Cat Gang is uh, commentating by audio use only. <laughs> Alright, so I assume he went in the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the, those are Bowser's feet, indeed. Alright. Do <laughs> kind of spin we go for. It looks like a pretty solid spin. I've been seeing a lot of players missing Bowser 1 throws, which has been kind of surprising. I've, I've even seen these players throwing Bowser completely off the stage as my internet is completely failing here, apparently. But we have not completely disconnected, so that is awesome. Also epic. <laughs> And you're screen sharing at 1080p 60 frames, and maybe you could lower that. It'd work a little better. Yeah, it usually isn't a problem. But I don't know, it could just be general internet stuff. Alright, heading down into the basement now, both players with those nine stars. Of course, everybody at this point going for Dark World Reds. See what the star options are. Lots of people skipping over Talon, lots of people going for side hop. It's a little bit risky and kind of unnecessary, quite honestly. We've been seeing a lot of people uh, really getting bit by that. It's Momo sliding down the side of the pyramid. Or excuse me, the sandy slope there. So I'm assuming he's not going to go for Talon Star. Normally you see Talon Star first. Neither runner going for Talon Star. Unless it's another German tradition of being a star first. Alright. <laughs> Got Momo going into LLL with 10. Basically confirms either a side hop or triple gun box. <clears throat> Alright. LLL is a bit scary. We see Let's Play. Probably going for side hop first here. here we go! I did see Momo practicing side hop on his stream before the race. So. And Let's Play getting Ooh. it. Very yeah. nice. Taking quite a bit of time though, um, going for standing and then grabbing the ledge. Going for standing, you still save time over Talon, but I'm not sure, you know, plus all of that ledge grab action might be a little bit of a, a wash there compared to Talon, but definitely didn't lose time yeah. there. I don't know, with the antics, he probably got like a 15, which saves like one or two seconds over Talon. Unless you do like, fly guy list. You gotta be insane to go for Fly Guy List and then a reset race. Like, if it's like an LTA format where you have infinite resets or something, or, um, you know, doing PB attempts, like, whatever, you die, you just reset, you keep going, but... That's just too risky for me. I don't know. Yeah. I think I attempted it in one of my races, because I was, like, so far behind. Oh my god. <laughs> right, we got both runners entering Dark World. Neither of them punching the toad, I don't think. Got a nice left side. I also wish there was a quality button. Hopefully we will be able to get partnered here on Cool Cat Gang shortly and always have quality options for our viewers. Um, could be a thought to go for 720p, I don't know. Not, not very many people seem to complain. But I, I do understand the network struggles, of course, having my own right now. It's a really weird thing from Twitch, in my opinion, just locking quality options to partner streamers. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised we don't have it right now. Usually, usually we get it. I mean, usually if you get like 
20, 30 plus viewers, Twitch is just like, ah, good enough. But I guess we're just not special today, sadly. <laughs> Momo getting a nice grab right in front of the door. Pretty optimal. Oh, Menace, don't say that. We're not restarting the stream. Absolutely not. Momo, very clean <laughs> MIPS. Let's Clay. Very nice MIPS. Can you clap back with your own clean MIPS? Come on, let's see it. I want, I want to see Let's Clay take at least one match here. I mean, Let's Clay, obviously the underdog with about a minute. Uh, higher PV, but definitely has the moves to make things work. Especially if there's any sort of mistakes at a moment. If there's like a death in Dark World or Fire Sea or some sort of BLJ meltdown, that, that can really, really uh, turn the tides of battle here. Yeah, Lesklai showed in his last race against Two Porridge that he can he can make even the, the craziest of like underdog stories happen. Oh yeah, we've seen some pretty crazy upsets. I mean, sometimes it's it's up to the, you know, person in charge, quote-unquote, having some sort of meltdown. You've seen some really serious meltdowns in Sky, honestly, which I'm not super used to seeing, but we've seen a lot of racers that are, like, really, really stubborn, especially on moving right side, which can really, oh, yeah. really screw you at a I race. I think that, that was a nail in the coffin in Tube Porch's case. He kept trying to go for a standing right, which is, like, the least consistent of the four options. But I mean, obviously he was going for it, so he must have been confident. Alright, we got probably a zero cycle out of Momo here. Not even close. Very fast. Good lag reduction. Oh, let's play no! Play! <laughs> Definitely not making zero cycle, but you can make the one after that, so... Absolutely tragic turn of events for Let's Clay. Falling a little bit further behind here. Not what we we're looking for is Momo pulling ahead further. I don't know. We're heading into BLJs. This is possible here as we go for some crazy angulations on that left side movement. Ooh, Let's Clay. Uh, <laughs> Very monk ass. That, I, that I, amp almost took him out. I am totally fine with just taking the L there. Like, just waiting it out. Yeah. Get the star. Take it slow. Don't don't do anything crazy. Sorry, I meant hangulations. Hey, SG man. Thank you for catching that. Let's see his BLJs. First try BLJs, I'm calling it. Or person it. One of the two. If you can long jump. <laughs> That's pretty hard. Yeah. Getting some initial connections there, but not able to chain anything, unfortunately. Kinda caught. BLJs not being nice. Yeah, let's call you kinda catching up here. Oh, the backwards let's camera? Nice. Let's go! Let's just go, dude! I'm, I'm living for it. Anytime I see the backwards camera, I'm just like... Uh, it gets my blood boiling. I'm just... I'm, I'm too hype right now. Backwards camera is ridiculous. It's so good. Momo yeah. making it work. Broken. Actually broken. Let's play, though. Making it up here. It looks like Momo made it past the barrier and is up to the top in the sky. But let's play with a really solid set of BLJs so far. We'll see if that continues. All right, yeah, let's play catching up. They're like, if le depending on these BLJs, they're like, you know, 20 seconds apart, not even. Oh, let's play instantly catching. This is really anyone's game. It comes down to throws and not choking. Easier said than done. Clay is definitely here to play, definitely here to make something happen. Momo going for that standing left side, very consistent strategy, makes it work easily. As you are saying, those oh. throws are still coming up. Very, very risky platform movement, kind of weaving in between them. Well, let's play going for that standing as well. I, I like the standing. Um, I've been cutting it out of my repertoire. Momo <laughs> cannot switch the controller here. 
Yeah, having a little bit of Oof. difficulty switching the controller. Making the race a little closer. Read the script. Alright, two throws now yeah, complete two. for Momo. Which means one more. And there we go. Game one going to Momo. The low 17. It was a very close race the entire way through. I don't oh, think yeah, anyone had like like over a 20 second lead on anyone else throughout the entire race. I just missing that last one, unfortunately. But not a huge deal. Still going to be getting a 17 here, unless I just completely ruined Let's Play's day. Um, that should have hit, honestly. Everybody close your eyes. There's too much pressure. <laughs> All the curses going on. Uh, oh, Let's Play, oh no, my dude. God. Like a frame early. Like I said, 17 in the bag. Here it is. Boom. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know if this is a 17. I don't think it is. It's going to be on the very edge. No, it's not a 17. There's no way. <laughs> but like I said, easy 18 yeah, no. here for Let's Play. Absolutely fantastic time for a race. Got to be happy with it. Okay, there you go. They're both finishing under a minute from their PBs. Very good showing from both runners for their first race. Yeah, let's go to have been super close to his PB if he uh, didn't miss those he throws. But still a pretty good showing here. Of course, have at least one more match to go. Probably two. We've been seeing almost everybody go for that final grudge match. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I tried to mute my microphone, and then I forgot how to sneeze. <laughs> Alright, uh, failure from the commentator, it's okay. Uh, we're getting the racer set up here. <laughs> the shenanigans going on in the booth right now, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, we, we are live here, of course, at PCGHQ, just spreading some, uh, some germs. You know, nothing going around that could potentially be dangerous, so... <laughs> Building up that immune system. having clear files. Momo having a file of 13 stars. That's very uncommon. But, you know, it's interesting. Alright, they are actually counted down now. Very epic. <laughs> Alright. Those players having insane quality on their N64s. 
We've had so many yeah. people playing with like ridiculously high quality gameplay. We both got, or everyone here has it like a, a retro bit and expensive capture cards. Not oh. skimping. Hopefully not a retro bit. Those controllers suck. Oh, not retro bit. Retro, <laughs> retro tank. I, I don't, I don't think we're. I, I think retro tank is too low quality for these gamers. I think it's either HDMI. Uh, I know Momo has HDMI. I'm not sure about Let's Play. But I would guess also HDMI. Not a lot of people go for RGB anymore. Really? Like HDMI modded N64 is? Yeah. Wow. The only one I knew who had one was like Cheese and he had a lot of issues with it. So, I don't know. I just always assume Retro Tank, but... Yeah, they're a, lot, they're a lot more common now. There's a lot more like different variations around. They were pretty rare back in like 2018, 2017. I'm claiming that RGB is the light. Can't I can't disagree. It is pretty cool. Momo getting like to skip. Both getting like to skip. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, like look, we're seeing a replay of the last match so far. Both players getting like to skip. We'll see if they both get bomb clip. Of course, I totally know that that actually happened because I definitely watched both racers as we all did in the chat. No problems here. Yeah. Um, perfect stream quality all the time. No frame drops, <laughs> no cutouts. Oh, okay. Both that's that's the thing. Great. Uh, bomb clips. Let's play, I think, getting a little lag there. If the the bars of the, the fence there are within view when you're grabbing the star, you get a few lag frames. So, I want to go a little bit further out. And out of your view. I gotta say, RGB is definitely the solution if you want to plug into a overpriced CRT monitor from the 90s. Uh, that's my only input there. But uh, Let's Play and Momo going for Owlus, of course, first, the German tradition. See if it pays off for them this time. Right. Oh no, Let's oh, Play. Oh, Let's Play. So close. Sometimes you fall on that ledge like that and you're able to fall in, but Let's Play not being that fortunate at that time. Getting a second try. Momo taking the slightest of leaves at the beginning here. Going for texture. I'm getting it. Very nice. Nice speedy tree grab there from Momo heading over to Wild Blue and looking really clean in this run. Not a lot of mistakes whatsoever from Momo so far. Yeah, both runners, besides the one Owlis mishap, have been doing very well this run. I was really confused why we were re-entering Womps there and there. <laughs> this is no LVLJ. We gotta get Womp King. It's so slow. I hate the star. It takes forever. Make it stop. Yeah. If uh, the tower wasn't there, we'd probably get like four stars and uh, CCM or something. Maybe get a slide. But no, this, you have to do this star to get the other faster one. Learn her coin in, in reds is like the best thing to do in a race because it always makes the commentators like freak out. Like they get really confused or like upset. <laughs> get a quick little cano cycle. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I, I just sometimes bust out the hunter coin in reds in races, especially if I'm like not really feeling playing a tournament right then and want to get kicked out. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I remember Menace like having like a heart attack when I did it in this tournament. It was pretty funny. 
Yeah. Oh, Menace, you're toxic. Cringe, dude. I, I don't think going for 100 points in reds is toxic. I think that's a fair thing to go for. I think as long as you're not, like, standing around, like, doing ground pounds or, like, going to, like, JRB or something. Like, I, I feel like you're fine. Yeah. <clears throat> It's faster if you do it perfect than CCM. It, it saves like a second at most. Yeah, it's definitely not a big time save. But in Suiji's 15-28 in LBLJ, or, or no LBLJ, he didn't go for it. So even really? like the top top running still to go for CCM. Huh. Oh, and Momo taking a fierce bonk there, and that's an opening that Let's Play definitely needed here. Gonna be entering the painting first, and going for a more safe and consistent strategy on this wall kick star. We'll see if Momo is able to get it this time. This star is one of the easiest stars to just mess up like three times in a row. Because once you mess it up once, you're like, man, it's so slow, I have to go for it again, try and make up some ground, then just spiral out of control. Both runners hitting it, though. Being basically tied. Yep, heading down to the basement with literally like no difference between them. Let's play now. Slightly ahead. Oh, excuse me. We do have to go to Dark World first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely played this category before. <laughs> actually doing two skip, let's go. They're in one key. One key list. We've been synced up right now. Yeah, that's kind of nuts. Literally the only difference being the camera turns and the fact that Let's Play grabbing the ledge here. Oh, and, and bonking the Goomba. Ooh. Yeah, not, a, not a Goomba assist, unfortunately. Sometimes they're helpful. That one was not and hitting the amp. Getting a small lunar jolt there. It's a that's lot of unlucky things happening for Momo. The scary camera once again. You do not see where you're going. Oh my but. god, okay. Let's play making it look like it's 100%. Yeah, but we're both still alive, so that's quality. We didn't get any sort of, you know, ending mishaps, so that's good. Yeah. I mean, you can get a little bit annoyed at that, that Goomba at the beginning, of course, but at least it wasn't like a Goomba wall that knocked you off the map. Ooh, and a dance for less play. Maybe, maybe half spin? Oh! Nice. Let's play with a half spin. Able to catch up just a little bit. Both heading down to basement now. I'm assuming we're not going to see Talon Star from either runner. Yeah, that would definitely be the theme here. Talon Star is banned. Um, let's go ahead. A little bit of troubles with the side hop, so it would be fair to go for Talon. But I think, considering the fact that Let's Play is the underdog here, probably expecting, if not watching and seeing that he's behind, um, it would be kind of silly to just go for uh, you know the slightly slower strat. Yeah, he probably wants to try and make up as much ground as possible. Very nice shining atop the pyramid from Momo. No, oh, the Zaya. Last guy grabbing the ledge. Still able to back it up, doesn't fall into any, any quicksand, but a little scary. Play burning. Does get it. Probably tied with a with Talon Star. 
Yeah, but doing any star other than reds first messes me up completely. That menu is really difficult to deal with when you're not doing anything but reds. Yeah, I, f I feel like it, it kind of like messes up your red reds like movement a little bit if you don't have that menu. I, I don't think it's like a game ender, but I always go for reds first. Yeah. Momo walking up to Toad politely and asking for the star. Very nice of him. Why are these runners so polite, dude? Like, I'm pretty sure it's faster to punch Toad, right? Like, it gets the star out quicker. I'm not sure. Definitely. He gets intimidated more. No. Momo about a star ahead. Well, nothing Clay can't, you know, overcome. Yo, oh, the Champ Cow raid coming out in the chat. Thank you so much for the raid, Champ Cow. Number one raider on Twitch. <laughs> Number one gamer in our hearts. Also, thank you everybody for all the follows. Appreciate that. Um, we are going to be hosting quite a bit of Mario content over the next year and forever. So if you enjoy Mario Racing, if you enjoy variety speedrunning content, I have lots of that coming at you. It's Let's Play taking a bomb from the rock. You got decent bomber, their boulder RNG, but then just like jumps into the boulder. It was like a, it was a magnetized boulder. Yeah, I mean, you probably saw, you know, Momo's BLJs last time around. It was just like, this lead just isn't quite enough. I'm gonna have to give my buddy Momo a little bit more space. Yeah, let's play actually showboating a little bit here. Yeah, I, th I think that was definitely showboating. Very disrespectful. We're gonna have to get the uh, the referees on that one. <laughs> Very nice mipped clip from both runners. Hopefully, I don't. Okay, <laughs> didn't wanna didn't wanna curse anyone. But it was all good. That's impossible. If you want to not curse anybody as a commentator, you either have to be the worst commentator ever and just like talk about fast food the entire time, or you just don't talk. Yeah. So I mean, you just kind of you gotta accept it. Personally, before every commentary, I like to light like a circle of uh, like half already out candles in my room and you know draw some symbols on my floor. I, I typically think that helps. Yeah. Power of the curses a little bit. Connects to their N64s and their controllers. Put them on the fritz. Oh no, this is not a good situation from Let's Play. Getting stuck oh. underneath the fin here. This can be really, I really hate detrimental. getting stuck under here, man. It's so annoying dealing with this fin. Let's Play making it happen just a little bit. A little bit of a meltdown. Tiniest little bit. Momo getting a nice zero cycle. We're like a minute ahead at this point. It's gonna be a little rough for Let's Play, though. Yeah, probably around 45 seconds or so. I'm not. I'm not really sure what the time of a, a good no, no uh, old glitch fire C is, but it's like a, a 128, a full split. I don't know. But yeah, Let's Clay entering the Fire Sea Pipe just as Momo is into the toilet. Ooh. Let's Clay messing up the side flip there. Not getting zero cycle. <gasps> Let's Clay, <gasps> no, Oh, the dude. triple jump. Oh my god. He's fine. He's got this. I mean, he can back it up easy, but still very unfortunate. Losing way more time than he would definitely have wanted to lose. And oh, that, that and the long burn jump, again. That long jump camera angle from Let's Play is just not working out for him. I'm not a huge yeah. fan. I mean, you're you're not getting. I just tank the lag. Yeah, you, I feel like you either tank the lag or go for like sideways or backwards. Seems to be going for like some like in between, which perhaps works for him, but I, I'm not seeing it today, unfortunately. Yeah, very awkward angle on the control stick. You got to hit. We've seen Momo, Momo have some trouble. Oh, here we go. Uh oh. Catching on the very end of the stairs. Yeah, not not this time apparently. 
Oh, that's a miss. Let's play. Let's play. Oh, the worst throw you missed. You can see on Let's Play's face, he did not want that to happen. Absolute heartbreaker of a moment. That is a huge chunk of time lost. I mean, another 20 seconds is right. almost We're struggling Momo on the final to, staircase. To struggle and then go into Wet Dry World. Sadly, not <laughs> happening for Let's Play. Yeah, we don't quite have that angle, uh, unfortunately, for Let's Play. But luckily for Let's Play, this stage is really hard. Uh, we saw Momo going for standing left side last time, which is pretty consistent. So we could still see like a Mega Fall here that could, you know, chain into some troublesome times. But... Let's Play's gonna have to, at the bare minimum, get some really solid BLJs, really clean bits, and some clean throws, which we saw him struggling on last race. Doesn't look like Momo's gonna go for anything crazy, they just stick with what he's comfortable with. Yeah, Chatter's trying to curse the racers. I'm not sure if that's a uh, acceptable solution here. I I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be cheering for the racers, but I mean, you know. I mean, whatever you want to do, I guess. It's a little messed up, honestly. <laughs> Very toxic. And Let's Clay, unfortunately, getting stuck on these stairs. Probably going to be the final nail in the coffin, as Momo can miss several oh. throws at this point. Doesn't... Big throw. That is a mistake you do not see often. Yeah, just going for those beginner throws. You know, you want to you just get the layups. <laughs> yeah. No point going crazy here. Oh, oh, is this oh. the beginning of something beautiful? Yeah, maybe. We no keeps up this pace. We could, we could see a Let's Play comeback. We have seen people straight up die in the Sky Bowser fight in this tournament. It does happen occasionally. It's not impossible. Okay, that's that's it. All right, yeah, that's it. Momo taking in two. Commentators trying to write their fanfics. It's another low. <laughs> Up until 17. the very bitter end, but yeah, another low 17, like you're saying. Very Crazy. impressive. Beating my no LBLJ PB. Basically twice in a row. Very consistent. All right, let's get some clean throws here for Let's Play. I don't want to see any misses. Get some prages out in the chat. We need an energy emote. I guess there's the global one. There's got to be like a Goku energy emote. I need that. Let's go! Three quick nice. ones for Let's Play to close things out. That's got to be a confidence booster. Another 18. Played really, really well. Unfortunately, just going up against an extremely consistent opponent. Been super impressed yeah. with Bomo's being played throughout the tournament so far. Going to be seeing him move on to the final bracket, the main bracket. Going up against fair with Let's crazy Play, it's players. hard to compete with someone who tied their PB. It's like... Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Definitely. A little rough. The GG's to both runners. Both having very impressive, very consistent runs. If players want to do their game three or we just want to roll into interviews here. We did start a little bit late, but we still have plenty of time, so good for either here on my side. <laughs> Momo oh. trying to convince Let's Go to do a game three. You love it, Momo. Begging for the content here. Uh, let's go. Man, as a convince. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna have a game three, just for the fun of it. You know, with the extremely convincing message of "Come on, let's play." <laughs> <laughs> of true wordsmith. No one else could have done it.
Mario! Alright, final countdown is off in the chat. Got both racers doing an extremely important show match here. This is probably the most important race of their lives. Definitely. This decides everything. The the winner of the of the the match might have already been decided, but the winner of the fans is still yet to be seen. <laughs> yeah. The winner I mean, of everyone's hearts. The best of three was for a spot in the main bracket, but now it's like all honor on the line here. And I don't know which one's more important, honor or a spot in the main bracket, which I don't know if you've heard, Jimmy's, but there is a $2,000 total prize pool across this tournament, which is kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. That, that's <laughs> that's like a pretty large number. Shout outs to Urban Arts for helping this tournament. Yeah, did you know that Urban Arts serves uh, underserved minorities across the United States and helps them get into college for the arts and technology behind game design? That is pretty crazy. It's pretty over crazy. Over 1,700 students in 2021 alone through their School of Interactive Arts program. Kind of crazy. I know Menace Monk is already... I wasn't even looking, but I knew Menace Monk already plugged the link in the chat, so <laughs> thank you, Menace, for that. Number one Urban Arts command user. Yeah, Urban Arts offers a multi-year college prep program that teaches students both the arts and the technology of game design. So it's very cool what they do over there, Urban Arts. And Momo going for LBLJ. Let's go, I love that. the show match. Even though on speedrun.com he does not have a submitted LBLJ time. Only has L no LBLJ. But gets it, looks is, like. Is there that over go. all his runs or just on his PB? Uh... Overall, his runs, he didn't have a single... He only submitted on the category extensions, no LBLJ. Oh, dang. That's kind of crazy. A <laughs> PB here for Momo in the race? Pause champ? I'm, I'm ready for it. I want Might it. Might happen. Momo's crazy consistent. I mean, if he's good at LBLJ stars, like, he's already got the LBLJ part. Yeah, he's already got the... We saw the side hop from him. I'm, We've seen I'm... all the Womp stars, so... I'm writing the fanfic in my head right now. Momo's getting a PB <laughs> here live. I'm calling it. It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's time for a 15. It's gonna happen. Dude, what if? That would be so sick, dude. I would I'd pop <laughs> off so hard. It'd be awesome. 15 is so hard in this game. Like, there's almost 100 people now that have a 15 and 16 star. It's getting to the point where people, like, almost don't even, like, care about it anymore, which is kind of disgusting considering the fact that, like, it is so it's so difficult. It's so hard. Like the level of consistency and gameplay you have to have to have one. It's just like, man. I had to play this game for so long and like grinded so hard to just get like a six on my first ever sixteen. Like fifteen Same. is is so so difficult. Yeah, sixteen was a hard feat, and fifteen is can't even imagine. That's all. Literally unfathomable as let's play here going for that full sock folder setup here playing it very nice and consistent and oh, looking pretty getting good a, Getting a nice sub three minute dark world exit Very very good for Momo Yeah, I mean, we've been talking about Momo here a lot um, You know, of course getting his first 15 in this race is gonna happen But I think <laughs> let's play is gonna play even crazier and get a 1558 uh no LBLJ and then just take the win here in game number two. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be kind of a crazy match. I don't know if everybody's prepared for it, but that's the script. Yeah, we're I'm gonna writing. have to retime after. <laughs> yeah, which I'm definitely I'm definitely prepared for. I definitely know how to retime myself, and uh, you know I'm sure the stats guy is definitely on call. So weird champ. I always retime my own runs. Get, take the the stuff off of the, the very hardworking community members that verify all the runs. And retime everything. So I just always take the liberty and do it myself. 
Oh, I think they still do it anyway. I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they still do it anyways. I, I think, I think, okay, I think it depends on who verifies the run. I think some people literally will just like look at the run a little bit and then just like put whatever time you put down. Especially yeah. if it's like, if it's like a 17 or above, there's like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah it definitely sure. depends on what what time it is. If it's like a, a 21, they're gonna be like, yeah, okay, I'm sure that's right. I mean, I mean I'm speculating here, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. Some yeah, runs get, know. get verified a little bit quick. Well, I, have to I have to ask Kai Man, the one that verifies like over half of the, the runs on Spearman.com. Especially if you submit to like a category in a game where it's like two hours plus long, it's like, hmm, are they really sitting there like combing through every single person's bot? I don't know. But, uh. I don't know. There's look. tens of people su submitting runs every single day. They really re timing every single one of those? I don't know. Could be a conspiracy, but both runners here getting out of Wasp Fortress with a decent time here. Actually, really good time for both. The sub five for both. Yeah. Good time for either one, of course. Momo going to basement. Let's play. Still having CCL and Wasp to do. But once he gets to basement, he'll start charging through all the stars. So while it may look like Momo is the craziest of leads, it's still fairly close. Okay, going for just a normal pillow this. Getting it. Very nice. And Momo has a 147 and 120 star and a 49 and 70. So he's not a stranger to any of these stars here. <clears throat> you know, I couldn't get behind the like dive roll out at first, but I don't know. The more I watch it, the more it seems like it's a very safe strategy. Yeah, you take no fall damage. You you just hold back at the right time. It seems it seems like a great strat if you don't want to do the backflip. Heading into Dark World now. As Momo gets his final star in SSL. Man, chat keeps talking about kebabs, and I like can't handle it. Like, I'm so hungry right now. And kebab is like my favorite food, so chat's kind of like <laughs> yeah, honestly torturing yet, me right now. So, also <laughs> fair bit hungry. Kebab. Kebab. It's kebab a I word? Say, I always say kebab, but I don't know how it's actually spelled. It's one or the other. Well, it's, it's definitely spelled kebab, but I'm not sure if anybody actually uh, says that. Unless maybe you're British. I don't know. <laughs> Might be a British <laughs> thing. British people. They, they just like twisting the English language into however they feel like. Yeah, kind of weird <laughs> champ. And they also <laughs> don't like to refrigerate their eggs. Found that out recently. I think it's most. I think it's all Europeans that do that but they don't refrigerate their eggs. I thought that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, kind of weird, Mr. Ashley D. I'm glad Mr. Ashley D is on our side. <laughs> nice side hop from Momo as Let's Clay, unfortunately missing the throw there, but getting the quick backup toss. Not too horrible of a situation. But Momo with the Both clear lead now. Stars. Yeah, as the routes converge. Definitely Let's see if he gets ahead. ledge grab skip here. He gets some crazy. Nah, no, just going for ledge grab. A little scary. I don't know why that camera when exiting the Dark World door happens. Where you just like... Like in Mario Cam, and you have to like wait a second before moving. Really strange. The best of eight, actually, the electric. The wind counters are right. They're just doing a, a show match for the fun, for the fans. 
Are there any best of fives in this tournament? Uh, yeah, the, the finals will be best of five. Okay. Yeah, best of eight really truly is the best format, Mr. Ashley D. It's Momo nailing this triple box jump and let's play with a solid side hop. Just a one star lead here for Momo as let's go. You're gonna have some easy stars coming up. Momo as well, getting past all the hard ones and on a huge pacer right now. Yeah, honestly, for a no LBLJ runner, this this run is really impressive. Kind of crap. Yeah, I don't know how. I don't know how much LBLJ he's done in the past. Doesn't like to submit runs. Madge. Chat discussing a rival 16 star tournament in the chat. Self promotion. Please go check out <laughs> Markinator's channel if you don't already follow. Yeah, I think there's I think there's one happening today, and then my group is happening tomorrow at three. I don't think there is so, one today unless the schedule got updated with the uh, new announcements. I don't know. But I, kn I know there's definitely one on Saturday. Yeah, I'm expecting to get bodied. I have a lot of really good runners in my group, so I don't know. All right, Momo exiting HMC. Pretty good pace. I think it's like a a low 16 pace at the very least. Got one more star here in HMC for Let's Play. Let's see if we can avoid the rolling rocks this time. Absolutely impossible to. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say absolutely impossible to hit these ones, but. Let's Clay find in a way. The last rock is kind of getting in the path, unfortunately. That's Momo. Yeah. Almost talking to the door there. Having some trouble on Mips too. Surprising he's not talking to the door at all. Managing to keep a neutral stick there, not run into the door. I haven't seen, like, besides that little flub on the 30 star door, I haven't really seen any Mips uh, mishaps. Let's go honestly really close here. Uh, this is looking a lot like game one where there is just that slight lead heading into Fire C and let's play catching up on the BLJs. So we'll see how the end yeah, game goes. The route it's, it's still very close. Yeah, definitely. And considering Momo's on like a, a nice pace here, like, do we have any major mistakes really? I mean, I'm trying to no, think back through my runner, I think I don't think there's really any mistakes from either runner. The Fable double PB question mark? Might happen. Out here writing our fan fictions once again, but you know, that's that's what you do as a possible. As a commentator, you just constantly rant write fan fan fictions about everything. <laughs> Unless you're Zeus, then you just bully the runners into submission and get banned from commentary, Kappa. <laughs> Momo just deciding to get so much lag there. Yeah, but three early cycles from Momo. Oh, and Let's Play, unfortunately, taking the ground pound there. Gonna have to back things up, but... Seems to know what he's doing. Uh-oh. Okay. Maybe. The thing is, is once he missed that early cycle, getting the next cycle is like, you basically could just... Walk. Yeah, it's very you trivial. Even, you could, like, take the elevator, so. like... It's very chill. <laughs> you take the elevator. Take the maybe Adam Ferrari monkey up. bars, maybe. <laughs> I'll see if you can. <clears throat> All right, not burning this time. That's good. That weird sideways camera finally working. 
I guess it is what he actually does. BLJs. Nice. Oh, wow, solid connection with no prages from the chat. That is impressive. Going it's against the green. Apparently not. Momo stands alone. All right, we are into the pipe here. This is a solid pace for Momo right now. Momo has that BLJ rhythm down. You can tell by like the sound of the BLJ. He doesn't match very fast. He does like the lunar, the lunar jump, like <laughs> getting the rhythm out. Yeah, I don't know if I go that slow. The old lunar jump match is a little bit cursed <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> just using the index finger. Just... Some, so, sometimes when I'm like grinding BLJs, I'll like sit there and like try to mess with that slow of a match. It's just never, it never works for me. But let's like get in a solid BLJ as well here. I think, the second I think one. if Momo goes perfect, he could actually. PB here. What? He has like... Yeah, I mean... We'll see. Let me get it yeah. on my pen and paper writing this, yeah. this fan it's, fiction. It's definitely I mean, in it's the books possible. here. I mean, it, it, it is possible. I, mean. I think we have like five seconds to work with or so as Let's Play taking a little bit of a stumble at the beginning of bits. But Momo here. Let's get some prages out in the chat for the throws. I see three. That's not enough. We need more prages. Any pray emojis will do. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Give me a second. <laughs> Alright, that's two. two. Is All our right. fan fiction coming to fruition? I, I, I hope so. No! No! No, Momo! That is so brutal. No, Momo. No. Can we still do it? We cannot still do it. I'm crying. Chad is crying. Oh, no. So close. Momo uh, with a smile. Knowing what could have been. But can Let's Clay do it? Let's Clay is on pace now. Oh, Let's Clay is on pace. He has to hit <laughs> let's three go. Throws. Come on, Let's Clay. Come on, Redemption. I believe. I believe. Momo just beating my PB real quick. And then let's see what. <laughs> see how Let's Clay is going to fare. All right. Uh oh. Are you bonking the Bowser a little bit? I don't know if these guys read in the uh, manual that PBs are mandatory in the tournament at least once. Yeah, I might have to DQ both of them. All right, that's Brand. two. Just needs one more throw here to secure a personal best. I don't know if he's too no, far, though. Dude. Oh, my God. The same thing. Oh, I don't know. I think play. it was barely too slow, even if he hit that throw to get uh, a PB, but he's Come the... on. I am so oh, sad. How that? How did that miss, man? These, these Bowser throws. Oh, uh, no. That's killer. Such a shame. Two very close PPs messed up by this third throw. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm crying. There we go. You can't see it, Still but I'm crying. The best run out of all these three. Very impressive showing from both runners. <sighs> Let's play almost PB on a run he was hesitant to do. Yeah, 1741. Definitely a solid time. I, I I don't know. I really bought into my my fanfic. I really thought it was happening. I thought yeah. we were getting the double PB. We we'll had to crush our dreams. Stupid Bowser. That that was I think probably the best uh, grudge match game three that we've had so far though. Like, yeah, that was that was really good. Both runners on PB pace. Momo pulling out the LBLJ. Really impressive. The player wants to interview here as we are getting close to the next matchup. Let's Clay a little bit too shaken up. <laughs> Understandable. Momo going to be joining us in the booth, though. Momo, how are you feeling on that uh, the Bowser 3? That last throw. 
Um, yeah, it was a good run, but so sad. I, I choked it. Yeah, yeah. Was, that, was that your best LBLJ run? Uh, I think so, yeah. Because I never really did like LBLJ runs, only no LBLJ runs. And so, yeah, it was a pretty decent pace. It's really impressive. If Bowser didn't screw you over there. <laughs> yeah, true. But Clay was also on a really good pace, right? Yeah, he was very guys, close to PB. You guys were Damn. both PB pacing the throws. I, I was trying to hype up the race at the beginning. I'm like, both of them are going to get a PB. And then both the other bits on PB pays. And then unfortunately, <laughs> we both lost it nice to the script. third throw. But uh, yeah, it was, it was definitely a good script. Almost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, moving really, on to the... Really good showing. Yeah. Moving on to the main events, uh, how are you feeling about that? Are you are you scared of uh, many of the competitors up there? I mean, I think you're pretty consistent, honestly. I've been pretty impressed with your gameplays, so. though. Yeah, I I'm I'm playing against Porridge, I guess, and so uh, he's no, also a very good player. Wait, what? I'm confused. Hmm? Oh no! Right, no, Porridge is out. Right. Yeah, oh, Clay right. beat True. Porridge. Yeah, oh, Clay, right. Clay beat Porridge and. So but the way the qualifiers are working is we're not playing the, the bracket all the way out since only uh, the top eight will move on anyways. So we're just going to uh, advance everybody that gets the top eight and just move on with the main bracket. So, you know, things mm, don't drag on too long. Um, okay. So, yeah, you yeah, got to go up against potentially like Kano <laughs> and Slippery Dip. I mean, Damn, yeah. How, uh, how are you feeling about that? A little bit scared, to be honest. And I think I have to go for LBLJ. Because, I mean, um, I mean, I'm kind of consistent with uh, no LBLJ route, but um, LBLJ has so much time save. I so, mean, you, you were definitely capable of doing it. I mean, that was a really, yeah, really I got good lucky. LBLJ. I, I got lucky. I don't know. You were consistent throughout this entire three games. So. Yeah. Throughout the entire event, honestly, I've been so <laughs> impressed with your gameplay. I'm stoked to see you play <laughs> you, in, in the main bracket. Um, I appreciate you coming in for the interview and, of course, uh, encouraging Clay to do that game three. That was. Uh, yeah. It would have been sad if we didn't see that one. Yeah. And thank uh, you guys for commentating. Yeah, no problem. Uh, we will be the great race. having some more SM64 16 star action coming right up. We've got Zion versus Drunken Dwarf. And later on, we've got Timmy versus Sif. So, plenty of heater matchups coming up tonight. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back.